late 1800s and Jake had nowhere to go. His parents abandoned him when he was young. Jake struggled to live on the streets, but somehow he learned to survive by pickpocketing and stealing from the rich because they were too snobby to even care about the poor or the work. One day, looking for food at the train station, he thought he could steal, could try and steal a bag of chips, but the shopkeeper saw called the police. The policeman took him to the High Court in Buckingham Palace, where he was being prepared to lose his life at the age of nine. When the Queen came out of her castle, she said, get on the stool and stick your head through the rope. Yes, Your Majesty, as Jake stuck his head through the rope. He thought about running, but maybe it was too late. Sh- should he, or could he, still try? In the nick of a heartbeat, he ran, ran for his life. Stop, stop him, said the Queen. As soon as Jake turned, he saw a crowd of people chasing after him. They lost him in an old building that was deserted. Jake thought about his actions. Should I stay or should I go? It took Jake a while to think about his moves until he came to the conclusion, I'm going to, I'm going. Jake said to himself, Good luck, a soft voice said to him. Who are you? I must not tell, but let's just say I'm a friend of your mother. Mom, is she here with you? Jake said as if he still had hope. No, I'm sorry, but she will be wherever you go. And then the woman walked off. Jake begged her to stop, but she just disappeared into the darkness. No, no, Jake fell to the ground, crying and scarred from the pain. When Jake felt strong enough to get up, he walked down the near, down to the nearest police station and handed himself in. Before the store was moved, he thought to himself, at least my parents were always there for me. I just don't see them.